here's my setup. As you can see, not far off of the water. It's actually frozen there. I think it's about 32 degrees, maybe 31 degrees outside right now. My wife will have a spotlight that direction at Eagle Park. Put this, you can see it's standing on the ice right there. There's really no extra inches to be involved here. In the height, about 30 and a half inches. itself is about 28 degrees 27 degrees let's go over the water now it's, you can see it's gonna 24 degrees there's the access point as you can see there's a smokestack over there that's attached to ground moving at a thousand miles per hour Filming that way towards Eagle Park in Saratoga Springs, Utah. All right, so I'm over at, I'm south of the Linden Marina. Access point, uh oh, access point is over there. Be filming towards Eagle Park in Saratoga Springs. Just wanna show you. I just thought this was fascinating. You can see the reflections on the water from this distance. Now that's probably about seven and a half miles at least away, maybe even more. But you can definitely see the reflection on the water when you would, uh, even a centimeter of, ref of curvature would stop that from happening. I believe that right there is defining the globe model. I'm just, um, just under the trees right now. Okay. You under the trees, are you spinning around your light at all? Is there any light like a near you or wait a second turn it off I found you turn it on yeah you're in between lights okay I found you can you go down the lower now the peninsula I definitely see you again this is awesome yeah there's ice out here Ben yeah it's this cold really far out ice safe for you yeah I see it perfectly on the I track. don't see it now <laughs> no. okay are you out are you out to the water's edge yet Well, you don't need to go all the way. I see you just until you get to a water's edge, because you know, get as much distance as. Yeah. Okay. And all you have to do is now lower. It. You're at uh, where's it at? Like uh, shoulder chest high or? It's on the ice. Do you see it? Uh, I just see glowing, but yeah, I, I can see a reflection in the water sometimes. Shine it on the water a bit. I don't see it. 
wasn't shooting at you. Now I see a reflection. Okay. Before it dies or anything, can you lower it as far as you can go? Just tell me, kind of speak out and tell me where, where it's at. Okay, do you see it? Yes. Okay. Do you still see it? Yes. Do you still see it? Yeah. Do you still see it? Yeah. It is on the ice right now. The edge of the light is on the ice. Holy crud. All right, that's pretty much flat earth. I don't see it. It's oh, on. Okay, I'm going to... Keep it on a second, I'm going to zoom out. Be sure to grab your GPS coordinates right where we're doing this. Okay. So you have it on the... It is on the ice. Do you still see it? Yeah, I do. So I'll turn it off. Yep. It's on. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Um, yeah, I'm going to... about grabbing those coordinates. Okay, also... I just finished uh, a flat earth test at the Utah lake. It's confirmed again that this lake is flat. I'm just waiting for my wife to come pick me up. It's freezing out here. Uh, maybe 22 degrees or so. I'm frozen. Uh, I filmed her over there at Eagle Park in Saratoga Springs. She brought the light all the way to the ice and laid it on the ice. She recorded her GPS coordinates. I recorded my GPS coordinates. We should be have exact measurements. <sighs> Took some temperatures of the water. The water's freezing. It's below freezing, maybe 25 degrees. I don't know what to say to you. If this lake is flat, the entire earth has to be flat. That's the only logical conclusion. All it takes now is some little bit of bravery to come to that realization. The earth is flat. It's shocking. We have been controlled in ways that we can't believe. They control our minds, our finances, our health, our education, our sciences.